Today on City Line, we're taking the fear out of decorating an all-white space. Industrial chic goes glam. How to bring cutting-edge style into your living room. Plus, we've compiled the coolest new customizable art to amp up your space. And we'll show you the latest designer finds that will rock your next reno. I don't know what rocks your world, but in my world, this is game-changing, Twitter, Insta-worthy, amazing stuff. <laughs> that and much more. All coming up, here's Tracy Moore. day of decor. Now we all know white is fresh and clean, but it can also come across as a little sterile. Designer Kimberly Selden is here to show us how to do it right. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. So, when it comes to white, people love white because it looks clean and it's classic, but it can also be a bit stark. Well, I think what happens is people get afraid. You start doing your own decorating and you make a mistake. And yes. then you think, oh, I can't do this. I'm lame at this. I'm no good at this. And that isn't true at all. Mm -hmm. I think you really have to plan the whole thing from start to finish in order to be successful. And that, no, the same thing is true with white. If you go into a store and you come away with a whole bunch of white stuff mm -hmm. that's all the same white, it's going to look like an institution. Yeah. Like, you know, like, like and then you need that harsh, mean lighting and you're, it's complete. You're, yeah. you're living in a fridge. Rigid hell kind You're of in thing. hospital right. zone. So the key is to have all kinds of different whites. There's okay. winter whites, there's gray whites, there's oyster whites, and mm. all of those things look beautiful together. And you can even take it so far as creams and whites look beautiful together. So, so mix that's them up. the first thing. Go for lots of different whites. I've got a little bit of a, a pale gray throw on the chair over there. Yes. There's some gray and right winter here. white in the pillow. And then there's a soft oyster white on the chairs. Yeah. And then the carpet's a cream. And I hear a lot of times, oh, you can't mix cream and gray. They don't go together. Not true at all. Very soft contrast. It creates a nice layer, a nice texture. Don't worry about it at all. Okay, lovely. Then go for texture. So here we've got this sofa. It's a beautiful fabric. It could be a beautiful wool. It could be a nice woven, a very tight woven. And then the pillows are, are the same. So what you have there is a little bit of blandness that's going on mm -hmm. in terms of the texture, mm -hmm. where instead of that bland pillow, for example, if I would have something like this with tons of texture, suddenly the sofa becomes more interesting and you haven't changed the sofa at all. You've just changed up the pillows, right? That beautiful, that nubby sort of texture is really nice this time of year as well. If you're mm -hmm. switching them out from summer to fall, winter, you want to go with that, those deeper textures. Yes. They feel good. And you just brought up a really good point. There are seasonal changes for a lot of us where we live. So mm -hmm. you're looking at those cute little pillows with the three butterflies. Yeah. Flip it around and you'll see it's a different pattern oh, on the back. Oh, nice. That's a oh, good thing good. to think about when you're doing pillows. Do yeah. one pattern on the front, a different pattern on the back. They could be completely different. They don't have to be related like this pattern. Mm -hmm. But that gives you a whole different look to enjoy. Okay, so you've got the whites going on. You're adding some texture, um, some really good throws, but you also have an anchor here. And the anchor is these spots of black, this nice dark wood. Good point, you yeah. You need a bit of that. Dark Sometimes you hear designers say, every room has to have black. It isn't that every room needs black, it's that every room needs an anchor. Mm -hmm. And when you have a light colored room, it could be white, it could be beige, it could be pale blue, you want to have that dark grounding effect. So we have that in the coffee table, we have that in the sideboard, we have that in some of the accessories. Yep. And the more contrast you add, the more dark and light, regardless of color, the more drama you're creating. Yes. So you might have a really busy time of year. Maybe you're an accountant and April is madness because it's tax time. Uh -huh. and so through the spring, you want to have a home that's quiet and peaceful. But then the holidays come around, you do a lot of entertaining, it's very fun. That's when you can swap in your dark colored accessories, right. dark pillows, dark blue velvet, you know, dark green velvet. Any of those colors are going to work with white as a base. Yes. A lot of people are afraid of white because they think they can't clean it, when in fact, it cleans beautifully. Have you yes. seen my children? Yes, I have. Like the I little, the oatmeal, and then the oatmeal on the hands, and then the oatmeal. 
dull. The problem with white is you can see it, but yeah. when you can see it, you can clean it. That's true. Right? And it, it is easy. It actually is, it is easy, easy to, to clean. clean. And there are companies that will, will treat the fabric. Yes. You do have to make sure you tell them exactly the fabric content because it can turn yellow. Okay. So you do want to make sure about that. And mm -hmm. then with art, if you're really one of those people, you're afraid to make a mistake, of course you can do black and white photography. It's always great. Yes. But if you're on a holiday and you find a beautiful picture of the ocean, you can definitely pop that into an all-white room as well. And it becomes yeah. the focal point. Also, natural materials, I will also add, it brings in the darkness, but it also brings that touch of natural, and it it's warms it up. It's warm. And that's the other problem with white. If you go for whites that have a lot of blue in the base, yeah. so when you're looking for paint colors avoid that blue 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 white um, you don't want it to look like the color of skim milk mm -hmm. you want it to right. be more the color of cream or oyster or pearl something like that yeah. that makes it very cold so keep it warmer and woods and weaving textures like this of course also visually warm the space up lovely so it's really easy to live with don't be afraid of white and it's so abundant yeah. that it becomes very affordable everybody has white goods. Everybody has white sofas and white chairs, which means they go on sale a lot. So it, you can save money. It's like having a good set of white dishes. So you know you're always going to be able to yeah. switch out seasonally what you're pairing it with, but yeah. you always have that good classic set that you can dress up or dress down. Why didn't you tell me that when I was 21 and I got married? What'd you get? Uh, what color? Art Deco, blue and gray. They're yeah. stunning, but I've used them like three times. I know. I know. Yeah. Uh, I started out my life with my husband with forest green plates from university he oh, had from college. It is a good thing he is cute. Forest <laughs> green that, that would be a deal breaker plates. for me. Right? Yeah, sorry, this is over. Yeah, it was a problem. <laughs> it was a problem. Uh, love all of the furniture pieces. They are all from LT and the accessories as well. So thank you so much for that, uh, Kim. Well, it's not just the color of a space that needs to be rescued or changed. Sometimes a physical tweak makes all the difference. Interior designer Stacey McLennan shows us how she...